Hi guys, so we have a rendition of hot topics to get into and I thought let's just put them all into a video. I like doing these jumbo videos, let me know if you guys like them too. Just putting a lot of, you know, different stories together. There's ones that I may have missed, ones that you may have missed, but not anymore. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali, hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed guys, click that button. Daily and consistent content and let's get straight into this video subscribe it's just one click click that button guys and subscribe head over to my new instagram account called murad murali underscore property i would appreciate it it's obviously there for me for you guys to follow my new journey as an official homeowner and yeah murad murali underscore property guys i would really appreciate it so we've got to get into a lot of hot topics so sit back and relax and we'll see how quick i can go through all of them within five to six minutes who says hot topics have to be a long last time ain't nobody got time anymore um billy eilish has expressed um frustration over the fact that she's actually losing a lot of followers she lost over a hundred thousand followers in counting and the reason is simply because of the fact that she is posting more celebrating her body some of the stuff she's posting you know showing um her breasts showing her boobs and in, in a way where it may be seen as quite sexual and that's something that she's not really known for in her career a lot of people are upset with her about it now i don't know why that would be the case that is her choice it's her body if that's what she wishes to do i don't know why you suddenly want to unfollow her for that specific reason doesn't make any sense to me but you know i feel like she's lost a lot of followers over it and it's still going forth guys and i think it's via instagram it looks like it could be over for tory lanes now a lot of people are worrying this but he tweeted saying it's been real and then obviously he deactivated so a lot of people are assuming now is that he's been sanctioned and that he is now going to prison i cannot confirm or deny this i don't know if you guys can either but it looks like he kind of broke um one of the restrictions that was, that was put in place between him and Megan, and it seems that he is going to prison, guys, from what he's trying to put out there as well. Speaking of Megan, she, big news for her, good news, she has just announced, I am whizzing through these hot topics, I love it. Um, she just announced a huge sponsorship, so she is going to be officially working with Nike. Now, when I think of Megan Thee Stallion, I don't think of sportswear. In all honesty, I don't. But at the same time, I love Megan, love her songs, she looks good in the Nike commercials, and I feel like she can definitely market anything because she just seems to be adaptable and a fun human being. And she gets the girls going, do you know what I mean? And you need that energy for a sponsorship. She can work with Nike, I can see how she can do it. Also some good news for Wendy Williams. Of course, you know, it's been pretty bad for the last two weeks for her, but her health is on the mend. She's now stable and she's set to return to Wendy Williams in a couple of weeks. So perhaps she had an overdose. I don't know what was going on. Perhaps it actually was drugs and it wasn't just the alcohol. I feel like it potentially could be, but great news to hear that she is now on the official mend and that she's, you know, not being admitted permanently to a psychiatric hospital. That's not funny or nice, you know, it's not, it's not nice at all to hear about somebody, but she is now returning to the show soon and she is on the steady mend. Britney Spears documentary has been announced by Netflix and um, articles are reporting that Britney Spears is not authorizing any of this. And even Sam Mascari, Britney's um, fiance, is saying that he hopes the profits of these you know, documentaries go to somebody other than them. And I feel like a lot of corporations love to make um, videos and productions on Britney Spears and the life and the struggle she's had. Let's just wait until she makes one herself, guys. Let's just wait till she commissions one herself, guys. I don't know why we all have to go and love all of these as if we're fascinated by it. We're fascinated by her struggle, but we don't care about her winning. And that is what I feel like these documentaries all like to do. And it's getting a bit tedious now. There's so many now coming out. Like I don't feel like we need that. We just need her to be free. Simple as that. Seeing that Drea is not happy with the Kardashians, um, Kim put out um, Courtney and Megan Fox for Skims doing pictures together, you know, with apples and whatever, promoting Skims. And Drea obviously responded and was like, um, I'm, I don't know why she did that as a business move, it doesn't make any sense. But she was just like, um, black women were the first ones to do it. And then there was a picture of her and her friend, I assume, doing the shoot. Now, yes, black women, especially when it comes to the Kardashians, the Kardashians like to imitate black girls. We all know this. But I don't think that that specific photo shoot that Drea was posting was that similar to what Kim was making Courtney and Megan trying to do. A little bit of a reach with the specific photo, I believe. And I think it's also a bad business move as well. She's got her own swim line, but with Kylie coming out with a baby line, um, a swim line, sorry, as well, that's a major competitor and will definitely put Drea out of business. I can just see it happening. Speaking of Kylie, she has ruffled a lot of people's feathers, guys, and you know what? I agree. She was at the zoo with her baby Stormy and Travis, and instead of them to be running in queues like normal human beings, they pushed everybody out the way, they told everyone that they're the ones first, they told people to back up, and they really, really irritated a lot of individuals and humans. And you know what? I agree, because, you know, you're a human being. If Kylie was trying to push in front of me, I would, the way I would have told her and her security guard and her family to step the F back, do you understand? This is a queue. You don't mess with the queues and lines just because you have this... Um, 
so Shavado does not mean that you have the authority to own the zoos yourself, do as you please. That's not how it goes. I think it stinks of entitlement. I think it's very rude. Why don't you just shut up, wear a mask and enjoy it and wait in the queue like everybody else? I don't understand. I think it's very just self-conceited. A lot of splits have happened, guys. Jenna Froome, Jenna Fumes. Jenna Frooms and Jason Derulo have split. Now, I don't see this coming because they love to make TikTok videos together. Of course, they just had a baby as well. So where has the split come from? I honestly don't know, but I do feel sorry for them. You know, nobody likes a split, but I guess that's what they both want. And as, as Jenna was talking about how she loved him a couple of days ago and suddenly this happened. So, child, you just don't know what. You, you, you just don't know. Um, Grimes and Elon Musk have split today. They have announced um, that they are done. They also have a baby together and they were there, I think they were together for longer, for three years. So I feel like they weren't getting along anyways. I feel like Grimes was, you know, doing stuff in a way that kind of pissed off Elon and Elon wasn't just being a helpful partner when I feel like he could have done way more. But I think that they have split up as well. Well guys, hot topics. We have just gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight topics in literally six to seven minutes. Let me know if you guys like this type of stuff. I like to put all these other, you know, stories that I don't have time to address all in just one video of hot topics for you guys. You guys can get all this information under 10 minutes. Let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.